I know, I know, not all Canadians outside of Edmonton want to get on the Oilers bandwagon. Vancouver lost to them, Calgary has rivalry with them, Montreal has the distinction of being the last team to win it, and the last team that got close, and Toronto is more concerned about deciphering the meaning of coffee games. But the reason to watch goes far beyond Canada's cup streak ending. Make no mistake, this is the Connor McDavid stand. I feel like Connor McDavid, I'm the wrong one to play with. If a player tried to check me, then my goons have to chase him. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a dream, honestly. Not so much a referendum, but an affirmation. A christening to join the conversation with the goats. So many greats have lifted it, drank from it. It's the moment we remember, the still photo that is still burned in our memory all of these years later. Gretzky did it in the same city, Crosby did it, and had the opportunity to have a golden goal when he played international best on best on home soil. Connor has yet to have that opportunity until now. It wasn't always a likely proposition. The Oilers couldn't have started worse. They were 3 9 and 1 out the gate, but like the tortoise and the hare, it's not how you start how you finish. They brought in Chris Knobloch, who took over a last place team and has the best record in hockey over the last six months. Now the Oilers are in the Stanley Cup for the first time since 2006. Thus, Connor McDavid is in a Stanley Cup final for the first time in his career. He comes in on a heater, leads all playoff players in points, and has the goal of the spring that went viral and surprised everybody but himself. Cross to McDavid, moves to the outside, works his way. The series begins in the same building McDavid put on the Oilers jersey for the first time when he heard his name called first overall in the draft. Only three players in the finals have ever won the cup before, but the one player who seems destined for jewelry has always been 97. Everybody is excited for McDavid, even the homies who might be a little too hype and a little too close. Give it a hug, man. Thank you so much, man. Something so changed. What makes the main character interesting is not that they succeed, it's that they go through something on the way to doing it, and that we're invested in the outcome. This is the conflict resolution in Connor McDavid's story. The greatest player in the game on the game's biggest stage. Take it away, Connor.